Babes. I'm Blender Babe Tarshan and I'm so excited. We just got the new Vitamix 780 in the mail and we're going to be unboxing it today and showing you what's in this new blender. So I am going to start with a quick open. Of course I... <laughs> I always get excited when I get these boxes in the mail because I feel like it's like Christmas, like all the time. So, and I love Vitamix's um, really awesome, like high quality boxing materials. You know, it's, it's made in America and it's not, you know, like made in China and, and a poor quality boxing. So if you guys can see the picture here, uh, this is the Vitamix 780. It's the first touch screen model and picture. Looks like they're making a yummy green smoothie here. Okay, so let's open this. So this blender, in case you guys are wondering, is $719. It's the most expensive of all the Vitamix models. Um, it just came out. It's their very first touch screen model. So I know that they have, I know this blender has five pre-programmed automatic settings. Uh, and that includes smoothies, frozen desserts, uh, soups, purees, and cleaning. So obviously you guys, anybody wants a Vitamix, one of the one things they want to do is make smoothies. So I love that pre-programmed setting. So it comes with a Vitamix cookbook. And Vitamix cookbooks are like, I mean, they're amazing. They usually have at least 100 recipes specifically for that blender. Um, each of their models, they actually come with different cookbooks and you know that sometimes will change the price. So if you guys go to Blender Babes um, and check out our Vitamix reviews, uh, you can see the different cookbooks that come with them. So it looks like the Vitamix uh, 780 is part of their, uh, I think their next generation series because it's coming with the low profile 64 ounce uh, next generation uh, jar and this is the kind where um, it will fit underneath your most kitchen cabinets once it stands on its base. Ooh, it's heavy. It's always a signature Vitamix. Is it high quality? Ooh, I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, all touch screen, um, five paper room settings. They do have a pulse button or pulse not put button but a um, pulse setting, and it's got manual speeds. It looks like you do this. Otherwise, you just hit that, and then your start and stop setting. So it fits on pretty well. Looks like it comes with a, a quick start guide, which tells you a little bit about cleaning and, and about um, your jar, looks like, and your tamper and how it works. Okay, so that's always helpful, especially for people that are new to blending. We just got to their first high power blender, they need to know exactly how it works, so that's great to see. Also comes with its own perfectly sized tamper. So when you guys are used doing like frozen foods or um, you know like nut butters or anything that's gonna need a little bit of help, that's when you use your patented tamper that's going to push the ingredients down into the plate. So I see a little on off switch over here. Looks like, let's set, maybe let's power this up really quick. Let's see how it works. Oh, it's hidden. It well, it's kind of nice. So that actually um, lets it, you, you curl up the cord. So you don't have a ton of cord, you know, all over your kitchen counter. You can make it fit just as long as you need it, which is really nice. And that's huge. All right, so let's check this out. All right, so I'm turning this on. Is that, is that good? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so let's see. Start. See the lights come on. Um, I think. This well, this one's obviously the smooth, the soup setting. I don't know which one. This is the smoothie. Oh. Is that cleaning? 
Oh, oh, you have to press the setting and then press the start button for it to go. So you can, when you have the pre-programmed settings, you can hear it speed up and slow down and then stop all on its own. I definitely think it's quieter than other Vitamix model models. Uh, let's try that again. Let's do the manual speeds. Uh, okay, so it looks like you pick your setting and then you hit start again. Now, can I adjust it mid blend? Yes, I can. So it looks like I have a feeling that the manual settings um, are not automatic, meaning that you know uh, they don't like turn off after 50 seconds, no matter what speed you're on. But I'll have to test that uh, a little bit further for our upcoming review of this blender. So let's see. Um, I just want to see some of these other settings. Uh, I think that's the cleaning cycle. Yeah, that's definitely cleaning. Uh, it's pretty low. We're gonna speed up. So you can actually see the uh, you can see the manual speeds change by the light. Uh, once, so in terms of your uh, program settings, uh, they they fluctuate in speed. So you could see through the light changing to what speed you were going to uh, as, as the pre-program settings were changing speeds. I think that's really neat because you can see you know, how, how, much, how much more power that you're getting. So if you did want to make uh, your own recipe and not use these settings and use the manual speeds and have a little bit more control, you kind of know like uh, where, where you would need to go. So I think that's really awesome. I hope you guys liked this unboxing and we look forward to sharing our Vitamix 780 review with you guys. Make sure to subscribe for more Blender reviews. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and give us a big thumbs up if you liked this video. And until next time, happy blending.